I have to identify the position of the centroid of given plane section. So first I would like to add here that if I will see this figure carefully, I will be able to identify that the body is symmetric about this vertical axis. And whenever having the body is asymmetric about yy. So suppose this is my yy axis. So the body is symmetric about yy and as the body is symmetric about yy, its centroid will lie on this line. So now as I know that the body is symmetric, I have to calculate only the x bar uh, y bar position. Once I will calculate the y bar position, my centroid will be automatically defined because I know that the one of the line where the centroid will be is the vertical line. So as usually what I will do first I have to identify the different sections here. Then my second job will be to make references. My third job would be mark different centroids, individual centroids and my fourth job will be make a table. I always follow these four rules. So here I am showing that there are different sections and which are the different sections. So if I will follow this my three sections would be I can make this is my section 1 which is this top side body. Then this would be my section 2 here and this circle could be my section 3. So my first job would be identify the three section. I have made three section. This is my section one. This would be my section two and this would be my section three. After making the sections, my second job would be make the references. As I know that the body is symmetric about the vertical line, this would be one of my reference and I'm not going to calculate the position of the X bar. And now I can make reference here or here or here but usually what I do I make the reference at the extreme bottom position so this is my second reference line and now once I will make the references my third job would be to make the individual centroid position in this case I know that one of the centroid will be here the second centroid will be here and third centroid will be here so what I need to do I have to mark the position of these three centroid and I know that the position of the first centroid this would be 50 the value of this point if I will see carefully I know that the total distance is given by 150 so this half will be 75 and remaining is the 100 so the position of the centroid of this point will be basically 100 plus 150 by 2 so it would be 175 similarly if I want to write the position of this centroid I know that this is 100 this is 50 50 plus 50 100 100 plus 150 250 250 plus half of the size of this length so this is 15 by 2 so the centroid would be this total distance and which is basically 150 plus 100 250 plus 15 by 2 so now I have marked the references, I have marked the individual centroid as well as I have defined the position of the individual centroid with respect to my reference. I can go and I can write a table. In this table, I am putting three sections. This is my section 1, this is my section 2 and this is my section 3. Here you can see the cross sectional area or the area of the three section. For the first section it will be 150 into 50, 15. For the second section also it will be 150 into 15. And for the third it is a circle so the area of the circle will be pi r square. So here you can see these are the three cross sections and the position of the centroid. Here I, I have shown 250 plus 15 by 2 but it could also be the total distance minus this distance. So the total distance will be 250 plus 15 265 and I can subtract the half of the 15 value in 265. So here I am showing that 265 minus 15 by 2. Similarly the second position is 175 so it is coming out 100 plus 150 by 2 and position for the center of third is half of the diameter which is 50 so it is 50. When I will put all the value here because uh, these three are the sections I am getting a position of the centroid is coming out 100.5557 so I know now my position of the centroid will be somewhere this is 100 and here is the 110 so the position of the centroid will be somewhere here 
this would be my y bar which is coming out 110 plus 0.557 thank you